Hi, and welcome back to another Marathi tutorial. Today we want to highlight some of the features that we've included in the new Marathi release, version 4.5. The new features have been incorporated into the marine example project that comes with Marathi. So when you first install Marathi 4.5, say yes to install the sample so that you can explore the new features using the same example featured in this video. The first and most obvious change is a purely cosmetic one. We have redesigned the color scheme and made other changes, including the type and style of borders around factors and diagrams to modernize the look and feel of Marathi. You'll notice the colors are a bit toned down and easier on the eye. You'll find the color settings under Edit, Preferences, Diagram tab, where you can choose between the new 4.5 color scheme or revert back to the legacy color scheme. We've also improved group box coloring. I'll switch over to a conceptual model diagram and double click on the group box to point out the new set of lighter colors that correspond to the factor type you're including in your group box. Next, we want to show you a brand new feature for reporting on progress for achieving results. For that, I'll navigate back to the results chain diagram. One of the very popular features of Marathi for many years has been the ability to quickly assign red, yellow, green progress ratings to strategies and activities to show how a team is doing implementing their plan. We've now taken that same qualitative color-coded rating system and created the ability to rapidly rate and show to what degree results have been achieved. You'll notice a new option in the control panel for results status, and if I turn that on, You'll see results ratings showing up in the bottom right corner of any factor where a rating has been assigned. Teams usually have stated objectives and indicators for a subset of their key results, but it doesn't make sense to have objectives and indicators for all factors in a results chain. So this new results rating feature supplements the objective indicator indicator measurement ability of reporting on results. Positioning the cursor over the colored ratings shows the status, date, and results. So you can see that this result has been achieved, whereas this one has a not yet status rating. You can use this new qualitative rating feature alongside objective and indicator measurements. Here you can see a partially achieved rating. Let me show you how you add results ratings. I'll open up this policy related intermediate result by double clicking on it. Like strategy activity progress ratings, you can update ratings over time. Here you can see a rating from a year ago where the team had assigned a not yet rating because it was still too early to expect a desired result. But the most recent rating shows a green on track rating. A pull down menu shows all of the different result status options you have for assigning result status where you can see things like achieved or on track or not achieved where things just didn't work out like you'd hoped. As with strategy activity progress ratings you can document your ratings by entering text directly in this box or by opening up a scalable dialog box. You can make it as large as you need. After adding these colored lights to the results chain, which shows at a glance how your theory of change is playing out, we decided to also add visual markers for strategies and activities. So I'm going to turn the activity factor layer on, where you'll see both action-oriented activities and a couple of monitoring activities. Then I'll click on the progress status checkbox in the control bar. And you can now see color-coded progress ratings displayed on the diagram. As with the results, hover text shows activity status and the details and dates. In, in this case, we can see that this is on track, uh, whereas this monitoring activity uh, is having some major issues. And you can see the reasons why. With these changes, it's much easier to show overall progress on the actions being implemented and the results being achieved during project team meetings or when sharing results with others, including peer reviews. Based on a popular request, we've added improvements to the links on diagrams. If you're uncertain about the linkage between two factors, you can now display that link as a dashed line. You can also capture narrative explanations for the uncertainty. I'll double click this link to open up the dialog box. There's a checkbox for assigning an uncertain link, and you can see an annotation box here where you can type in explanations. If a link has any annotation, the link itself looks different. The head of the arrow of the, the link is transparent, so you can tell at a glance that there's only one link with annotations on this diagram without having to open up each link to see if there are comments. We've also made improvements to the tagging feature of Marathi. The tagging feature has long been an important way for displaying only portions of a diagram at a time when you're describing the logic to others. For example, I'm turning these tags on sequentially to build the results chain into its full form. 
I'll switch over to the conceptual model diagram where you can see that I'm only showing the shark portion of the conceptual model. If I turn on fisheries and turn off sharks, then we're just looking at the fisheries portion. There have been several improvements to the tag features. First, the tags are now diagram specific. So instead of having a really long list of tags for the whole project, you can now have customized sets of tags for each diagram. There's now also a global on-off checkbox, so you can disable all of the tags with one click uh, of the mouse. Based on popular demand, Marathi now provides strong support for documenting the type of evidence you're using to support your work. I'm going to switch back to results chain. When you open factors in Marathi, you'll see new capabilities for capturing evidence. And we have new evidence rating systems that pertain to different types of evidence. For goals and objectives, you can now assign an evidence rating that serves as the basis for any quantitative value specified in your goal or objective statement. For example, if I hover the cursor over the seabird's target, I'll see that we're hoping to see 750 breeding pairs of ruby-crested puffins. Where did the 750 number come from? If I open up the goal dialog box, double-clicking on that, I can see the goal statement at the top, and then there's an evidence section down here at the bottom. I'll click on select so you can see the five categories of evidence, including rough guess, expert knowledge, external research, and on-site project research. In this case, we're using external research uh, as evidence base for the goal statement, and you can see the, in the evidence notes where that evidence came from. There's also a new and improved basis for capturing the evidence around indicator measurement data that you're gathering. So I'll switch over to the rats eliminated from islands factor and double click on the indicator triangle. When I highlight one of the indicator measurement rows, you can see a source pull down list below. The first two evidence categories are the same as the ones we just looked at, rough guess or expert knowledge, but the other two correspond to the level of rigor in the measurement assessment. In this case, we're using a rapid assessment method, but if we were doing a full census or quantitative sampling, we would assign the intensive assessment. Another feature that we've added is a format paster. Let's say you've changed the color of one of your intermediate results. I'll open this one up and I'll change the font color to red. You can now copy this format by right-clicking and selecting Copy Format. Then you can paste that format to other factors by holding the Control key down, selecting multiple factors, right-clicking, and then picking Paste Format. Another big improvement and a frequent user request is the ability to exclude certain target threat relationships from a threat rating. I'll move back to the conceptual model. Let's assume you want to make a connection between mangroves and the seabirds. So I'll click on mangroves, go to seabirds, and click on insert link. I will now navigate to the threat rating view. You now see that there is an unrated threat target relationship as Marathi correctly detects this relationship. But maybe in this case, you don't want it to be included in the threat rating. So now you can simply check a checkbox down below to mark it as non-applicable and Marathi will not include it in your threats analyses. The final new feature addresses future status viability ratings, so I'll switch over to the target viability view. Marathi users have long been able to enter current and future viability ratings. If in the key attribute viability mode, current status information is entered as part of the measurement rows, and future status is entered on its own row. In simple viability mode, current status information is entered directly at the target row as the target viability status and viability future status is entered in the same spot. In Marathi 4.5, the rollup function has been extended to the future viability status. In fact, this whole column that you see here is brand new. The ability to explore overall future status ratings has been an important user request, often associated with climate change predictions. And if you like to do your work in the diagram view, you'll be happy to know that you can now make both current and future status entries to a target for either mode of entry without leaving diagram view. These were some of the highlights of our new Marathi version 4.5. There are many more subtle changes and fixes throughout the software that you might notice too. So keep exploring. Thanks for watching. Make sure to address any questions that you have to support at Marathi.org. Have a great day. See you in the next video.